here's our unwrapped object. We just want to put our old material back on. It's important that when we re-import a modified mesh that we keep the old material name the same to save us from any texture assignment headaches in Painter. We'll do our export as obj, choose selection only. This time I'll be saving as a new file instead of overwriting the old one. This will be important in Painter when we do our final export. To import the modified mesh, go up to Edit and Project Configuration, and choose the new model. Let it load for a second, and well, it looks as if the mesh came in, but the base materials seem to have gotten messed up. Luckily, our decals and normal map stamps are where they're supposed to be. We'll recompute our mesh maps back in Texture Set Settings, Bake Mesh Maps. Now, anytime you do a UV change, always rebake the maps. We'll redo the areas where the base materials got messed up. I'll just clear the old mask and reselect the areas. So I'm just going to pick this yellow area. And because we changed the UV islands, we can't use Island Select to pick the dark areas like before. This part kind of sucks, as we have to select the faces by hand. We could have split the portion into its own UV island if we wanted a simpler selection method. So once that's done, I'll just clear off the middle to expose some metal and start chipping away at the paint again with our custom brush. And it looks like we missed the dark section up here. And well, that's it really. Even doing a major UV change, it only takes a few minutes to get back to where we were. Now one very important thing to note when using this reproject feature, if you do a lot of work in this 2D window by pressing F1 and F2, we can toggle between them, your stuff won't be projected correctly when bringing in a newly UV'd model. So I recommend doing as much as you can in the 3D view. That way, when we do a reproject, it'll be correct. So we'll just export the textures once again. Keep in mind, because we reloaded a new mesh into the project, the file name of these textures will also change. So just double check them when you load them back into Blender. And that's it. I hope this shows that due to the flexibility of UV changes after texture work, it's also not uncommon for you to do an unwrap, texture a little, and then find something that didn't work, readjust the UVs, and then reproject.